What up? And welcome to another episode of What Are You Watching? The TV slash film segment of the channel. Back with another One Piece edition. Episode 1119 is out now. So as always, you guys already know. Gotta shout out the creator, Oda. And gotta give a shout out to the studio, Toy Animation. Appreciate all parties involved. A very big episode. A lot of information was revealed. And I feel like we're finally getting to the nitty gritty of the story and what exactly is going on. So you guys already know, going off of the events of last week, King Cobra is currently in a meeting with the five elders. And then we get the appearance of this person named Emu, who, long story short to me, doesn't look human. And you see King Cobra be so dumbfounded by this person, not only because number one, he's sitting on the throne where nobody's supposed to be sitting, but number two, he recognizes the name Emu. And from what I gathered, I think Emu was the name of the founders of the Holy Land or those original families that gathered. And I think he's so surprised to see that this person's still alive. And as I'm saying that, as the episode goes along, it's pretty obvious that he is a person from back in the day because he keeps questioning King Cobra about this letter that was supposedly passed down in the family. Asks him to mention the queen's full name. So obviously he must know that something's up. He also mentions that the queen might be responsible for the reason that the Pawnee glyphs are scattered around the world. And we know there's different type of Pawnee glyphs and the red ones in particular are the most special. So it seems that she had a part in this. And then we come to find out that for whatever reason, she took up the initial D. And so what we know from the initial D is that these people were some of the strongest in history. And Emu lets us know that these people in particular are the people that deal with uprising or try to try to go against the way that they run the world. So obviously the five elders have an issue with these people. He also mentions the fact that everything that has been going on, the pirate era, renaissance, once again, the Poneglyphs being scattered, all stem from this one incident that the queen did. So it was a very interesting conversation. We then see that Emu and the five elders have a, some sort of transformation. I don't know if they're all related to each other or if they all just decided to power up at the same time, but with the entrance of Sabo, he tries to save King Cobra, but of course it's five, really six against one. So there's only so much he can do. But King Cobra leaves him with a message and tells him to let Luffy know that him and the royal family of Alabasta share the D name. And so it's kind of ironic because we know how much of a connection he has with Princess Vivi and the fact that this was the first city that they really helped liberate. So it's kind of crazy how everything's coming full circle. And I was happy to know that, at least for now, it appears that more people are joining in the fight. The Revolutionary Army is getting ready. We know that the Straw Hats are in a situation. Shanks is on the move. And just all the nations in general are starting to rebel. So everything is definitely coming to a point. And I'm looking forward to seeing what happens next week. At the end of the episode, we saw why Princess Vivi and Warpool actually ended up together. He was the witness to what happened with King Cobra. So more people do know about what's actually going on. And I'm interested in learning not only what the Revolutionary Army will do with this information, but what other people will do with this information once it's revealed. But as always, let me know what you guys thought about the episode. Till next time. Peace.